Yo, man, so let, let, let's get right into it, man. Um, I mean, obviously, Ray J called in. Uh, the Who one. called in? <laughs> Tupac? <laughs> Tupac called in? You funny. That, uh, wasn't, that wasn't Ray J. You can't be serious. That wasn't Ray J. That wasn't him. That, was, that wasn't Willie Norwood Jr. That wasn't him. That wasn't Brandy Brothers. So, so, that wasn't so, Mo, Mo Titter, E Titter. <laughs> that little nigga that made from that show. That wasn't that nigga, man. So he called. Nah. To, he called to the morning show today, and obviously you heard what happened, man. We just want to hear your side of the story, man. I mean, really, like you know, this is not no big thing to me. You know what I'm saying? Like it is, it, it is what it is at this point. Is it's, this is more a war on drugs than a war between Ray J and me? You know what I'm saying? This nigga is high and coked up or on pills and. You know, his rant, I heard this hilarious to me, first and foremost, joke to me. Like, it's not, I didn't take, I, I'm taking it serious on the side of where he, where he thinks that I'm the, that, that he should do that to, but I, I'm, I'm laughing at his whole character. Like, it, there's nobody that believes Ray J is gangster to that point unless he's gonna prove it. So at this point now, he's gonna have to prove all of this funny that he was saying on World Star, I mean, on, on the Breakfast Club, but what really happened is I'm sure people seen on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? We we had some fun with him. Um, Floyd had a 24 uh, seven show for the fight. You know what I'm saying? I guess he, Ray J was on the show, right? And on on the show, Floyd goes, "I'm about to have a concert in my living room." You know what I'm saying? So from there, the camera cuts to Ray J singing words on a piano, singing, and the shit was just funny to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I made a couple of jokes about it on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I guess people on Twitter have fun with it. You know, Twitter, that's what Twitter does. They have fun with shit. So they have fun with it. Now, I came to Vegas for the fight. I went to, uh, Diddy had a dinner. Diddy had a dinner. Yeah, at, I was uh, there. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? You was there, right? You right, were there. right. All right, okay. So Ray J comes to the dinner. Ray J pops up at the dinner, and, you know, when Ray J came in, he's like, oh, Fab, you got me on Twitter. You know, we laughed at, laughed about it. You know, we joked about it. Kevin Hart was there. Diddy was there. These are all people who are all in this situation. And they know exactly what's going on. You were there, DJ Clue. You, you know, you're the guy who can squash this. The negotiator. I know that's your man. I know, that, I know. you know, I know little Brandy is your man. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, I, I, I wanted to call you and clarify this. Because according to him, you're the only man that can squash it. You're the minister Farrakhan of this. So, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. Chris Sabian. <laughs> so anyway, comes into the dinner and you know we laugh about it. He chopped chopped it up about it, and what he said it was was the way they edited the twenty four seven show. He said it was bad there. It was people there. It was everybody was in the living room. It still was funny. We still were joking and we still were telling them don't do any any concerts in the living room <laughs> and don't do no don't do any shows in people's basements. You know what I mean? Like. That's not that's we, that's not where we want to see his career go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it, it, we all laughed about that, joked about it. He was cool. He sat down. He ate some chicken. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, everybody was everything was cool. Everything water under the bridge. Uh, I have a show here at the Palms with Jada Kiss and um and Styles P. And um, I see him and uh, and he's like, "Yo, we gonna come down to the show later. Everything's cool." I'm like, hey, "Cool, I'll see you at the show." Whatever. We get to dinner. I get to dinner. I went to dinner before the show. Uh, I see Kevin Hart. He said, "Yo, I just seen Ray J. He got on a little red hoodie." And he just told him, yo, we got we got seven Rolls Royces and uh, you know, the this is on deck. We just get money out here, the money team. The money he just talking crazy, whatever the, he said, okay, Kevin Hart said, I just looked at him and said, Okay, and dapped him and walked off. You know what I'm saying? So we laughed about that, da 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 da. But I had no no feeling that Ray J had any 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 problems with me whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we go to the show. I'm walking down the hallway to the show. I see Kiss. I say, what's up to Kiss? As you come down the hallway, you see everybody there. I see uh, 50 against the wall. I see Floyd against the wall. And I see um, Brandy's brother with the red uh, hoodie on. You know what I'm saying? 
because uh, Kev just told me he just seen him with the red hoodie. So I walk up, I get 50, I get 50 at that. I'm going to get Floyd at that. And then Ray J chimes in and says, yo, my n- we here with the money team. I'm here with the money team. And, you know, we was talking about the jokes and wasn't feeling the jokes. So I'm thinking, like, like I'm, I'm laughing. Like, I, I'm thinking he's continuing to talk or something from the dinner, you know, and still making more joke of it and probably bringing it back up. I, I, I felt the joke was over, but I'm laughing with him any, anyway, you know, just to just to not make him look stupid. You know what I'm saying? So right, right. I go to speak to Floyd, but he's still, like, timing away over in my ear. So I look back over to hear what he's saying. He's like, yo, yeah, Nick, real Nick. And he loves to make this rant about seven rooms worth outside and bitches by the pool and you know and and all his whatever he's do whatever which means to me so you know he's saying this at this time so i'm still i'm like a ray j you know i don't know what he's talking about whatever so now i look over at 50 and 50's just looking and they they're looking like they're just trying to see what ray j is talking about so now i look back over to ray j ray j is like yo we real Man, we're not bitch ass niggas. This is the money team. This is this, that, and the third. And I'm just like, hold on, hold on. So now I'm looking at him in his eyes, and I'm starting to feel like, like, is this? Is he serious? Like, what's what's going on here? Are you serious, nigga? So I ask him. I'm like, yo, like Ray J, what's what's wrong with you, man? Like, are you serious? What's, what what are you talking about? So he like, nah, because this real getting this money fast getting money out here man you know what i mean we on the west coast we mobbing we getting money i'm like yo seriously ray j man like i don't know what you're talking about right now i don't know what's going on i don't know what show he's talking about the money team is right here floyd and 50 i say yo this don't really got nothing to do with floyd and 50 i don't know what what you're talking about but this is me and you like what are you talking about and he's starting to say like he's still so i'm like yo all right ray j <laughs> All right, man. Like, if you're serious, like, you don't, because while he's talking to me, he's, like, touching my shoulder and, like, tapping me on the chest and, like, you know, uh, just talking. So I'm like, yo, if you're serious, like, let's just, this in this, like, don't, first of all, don't touch me no more. Don't, don't touch my body in any form or way. Don't touch me. So he's like, what you mean don't touch you, fam? And, and I said, what I just said, nigga. Don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? And then from there, he leaned back and then he, like, pushed off of me at my chest. So then when he pushed off for me, I jumped back to him and I grabbed him up. So I grabbed him up. I didn't, it was no fight. It was no swing. This whole story that he made up, that whole Tupac rant about him swinging on somebody and all that, it's all lies. It's all so, so it was, there was it's never on that Whitney, that was on that Whitney last night or something. Like that, <laughs> that, that there ain't no swings take place. You can, ask, he can, you can ask the money team. The money team was standing there. It's the access money team. That he's probably the water boy for, but ask the money team. Ask the money team and, and let them, and they will tell you that it was no blows or what's this. So I grab him up by his little red hoodie, and I'm holding him there by his hoodie, and I'm like, just chill out, little red riding hood. There's nothing going, like, just chill the fuck out, right? So I'm holding the Stupid. nigga, and it's a bunch of commotion from all of the security guards and shit that the hoodie is over his face like i could have mopped the floor with this kid if i really wanted to the hoodie's over over his face i'm just holding him i didn't even swing on him like i i wasn't trying to you know i wasn't trying to ortiz why is there's a hoodie over him. so everybody chilled out they calmed it down everybody like yo just chill out just chill out i let his hoodie go push him back he's behind his security dude screaming at the ceiling, you know what I mean? I went in my, uh, and throughout the whole, whole altercation, the only thing that happened was my shades fell off or some shit like that. My shades got lost in the whole little scuffle thing or whatever. So I went to my dressing room, which was two feet down from where this happened. Went in my dressing room, had a couple sips of Fiji water, you know. You know, we joked about it in there. Me, Kevin Hart, and uh, Meek Mill. Meek Mill came out to the show. Shout out to Meek Mill and um, Kevin Hart. You know what I'm saying? We joked about it for a little bit. I went on stage maybe about 10 minutes after that, did my show. I actually did a show with no shades on. Like, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, the yeah, that crowd crazy. didn't even know none of that happened. But I never performed without my shades. Yeah, so I, that was crazy. So that I didn't have no shades, I just performed. So if anybody wanted, he told the Breakfast Club that my face is up and my like there's, there's nothing wrong with my face unless i got a great plastic surgeon for surgeon who worked in a cut last hour or so like there was who can work in that 
quick of time. There's nothing wrong with my face. You know what I'm saying? There's no, he didn't swing. I'm, it's not happening. He, Ray J is not swing. That and that's in the same sentence don't even sound right. So the interview was very entertaining, and he, you know, he sounded like I, he didn't sound believable, but it sounded good. It was funny. I woke up to it. I had, I had. It was very funny. He said a couple gay funny things in there. I'm not even going to even like you know. I didn't drop your top pause. That's not no, no dropping no top. <laughs> Any anywhere, none of that happened. You know, I don't know what kind of niggas you roll with that say that rape niggas and all that, but they're not raping anybody over here on this side. <laughs> and and it's just a big story that he's, you know, like he's. I I don't know. I don't. I, up until this point, uh, Ray J was an associate of mine in the industry. You know, I know him and his sister and. Never really had a problem with him. I didn't have a problem with him when I seen him. I don't know if this was fueled by him uh, trying to prove himself for the money team. But, you know, the, the real story is that you can't... There's cool niggas and there's, there's real... And you can't mix them with lame niggas, You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's where this, this got to stop. Like, you got to stop. I don't want to be around no lame no more. Like, they, I don't want them even around me. You know what I'm saying? There's the cool niggas and the real niggas and the lame niggas. I don't care if you got money... Being a lame, it's a lame nigga. If you got money, you just a lame with money, and that's it. There's no, there's no mixture. You don't, it don't make you cool because you lame, but you got money. You just a lame, and that's it. I don't do what he does. He doesn't do what I do. You know, he can continue to do reality shows and do his thing and do that, and I can continue to do what I do. If he want to pursue it further than that, that's not for media. That's not uh, an interview at six thirty in the morning. Calling up, trying to what's the name? Like my my hood won't let be allowed to get any Ray J. I don't even get no points off of Ray J. If you never heard of any any of this type of sh ever happening, so you know it was a good funny story, cool story. You know what I mean? Good joke. You know it could be a movie one day, probably not. But at at the end of the day, there's no way that Ray J is getting off on me. No way. Ne never ever happened. Ever. Ever. So, yo, is, ever, is, ever. Is, is there any way we can squash this, man? No, it's nothing to squash. I don't have a, I don't have a, like he's talk like, you know, like I said, it could, it could be, it could, we could progress in our own ways. I could go my way. He could go his way. He could continue playing the piano at Floyd's crib if he wants. And I'll continue to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? And he could do concerts and living rooms all he wants. That's his, his prerogative. But, at the end of the day, like I don't, I don't gotta, I don't gotta mix in with him. You know what I'm saying? So he could do his thing, I do my thing. If he wants to take it on a different path, which ain't, which, which he ain't really about. And, but if he wanna, take it, if he wanna go there, then it could go there. But it won't go there through the media. It's already amplified on Twitter and on radio about people have heard his little story. Like I, I was not gonna pay this attention, but I, I don't want people in the back of their mind thinking maybe I'm being silent. Because Ray J actually, there's, there's some smart people in the world that would that don't believe this whole little story, but there's some people that don't know. So I had to speak on it, but it's nothing to squash. You know what I mean? I know you're, you know, Clue Far Clue, Clue, Clue Farrakhan is trying to try Clue to Clue Sabian, the Clue Sabian. Yo, listen, uh, whatever, Clue Sabian, whatever <laughs> you trying to, whatever you trying to do here. But I can talk like, a bird down from a tree. And it could be it, it's Yo, um, Fab man, I appreciate you calling in, man. Look, man, you know I'm a good person, man. I could talk a cloud down from the sky, so I'm gonna try to work on this and, and get this whole thing squashed out for you. Man. In the morning in the club, I don't know. He was doing somewhere doing interviews with with uh with with Charlemagne and, and Envy and, and Angela Yee, and um, I guess maybe he, that's what he thought was gonna work for him. But no, but like like real. Don't believe that. Anybody real with any sense of knowledge in them don't believe that. Like that that story is 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 is, is, is made up story. Yo, I gotta thank you for calling in, Fab man. Yo, I know you got stuff to do. Uh I'll see you when you get back to the city, man. Yeah, man, I'll be back real soon, man. I I, I gotta get some music out behind this. That's, stay that's out, this stay out of trouble, for. Fab. Yeah, man. Uh, I I I try, I try. I'm gonna start <laughs> to stay on Twitter too, man. That's where I get in the most trouble at on Twitter. Yeah, man. But they can follow me. I think I'm gonna get in some more trouble now. I think I'm gonna go on Twitter after this interview. We're gonna try to uh alleviate all the problems, man. Just keep moving. Yeah, man. Yo, man, Ray J, man, I don't, I don't know if you if you sobered up by now, you know what I mean, if you're thinking in right thought, but you know what I'm saying, like yeah, this is a this is not a war between me and you, man. You need to clean yourself up, get yourself right, you know what I mean, do the right things, stop letting people around you 
get you to do things that you that's really not you, man. Be you. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, like I'm I'm grown. You know what I'm saying? So I don't play like you know what I mean. So that's why I don't even want to do this to this kid. Like it's, it's it's not nothing to play on. People get hurt. People get killed. And and it, it ain't really worth it. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm just gonna sign off on that. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna stay high and stay the cool and um and I handle whatever come my way. All right, thanks, fam. 